And that is a very deep tradition in history. Dulce et decorum est pro patria mori. This is sweet and noble to die for your country is an old noble vow that was made because of your love of place, love of this country. And so, yeah, I'm very connected to that. I'm very connected to communities that are very connected to the love of this place. Unfortunately, the American dream is what defines us now somehow. And that was corrupted. And you really, if you think about it, back in the 1930s, the American dream was defined as two chickens in every pot, two cars in every garage. I think it was in the 1940s or 50s. I remember, but it was an advertising campaign to get Americans to think that the American dream was two chickens in every pot, two cars in every garage, a house, a mortgage, and I've got the American dream. And I live the American dream. I am the example of the American dream. I came from, a, my mother was a nurse, my dad was an engineer, we didn't have a lot of money. I was educated, I went all the way through graduate school. I started a business from scratch and built it up to a couple million dollar business. I had everything in my community, I was well respected. And I thought I had the American dream. And so the deeper American dream is the one that I'm waking up to. It's a totally different American dream. It's an American dream of peace, inner peace. American dream of self-governance. I govern myself. You govern yourself. We govern together. We're not governed. We are not subjects. We are not voters. We are not consumers. We are not fans or we are not spectators. We are citizens in a democratic republic. So to wake up to who we are and to wake up to the fact that this American dream, a lot of blood, a lot of patriots, true patriot, love of country, men and women that love this place have put their lives for generations on the line to create what we have. And to corrupt it by calling the American dream a, a big job or a big house is really bullshit. It is total bullshit.